Hello everyone, this is episode one, and today we are going to talk about the motherboard, um, and how it works. Now, I'm sure you're thinking that not how the motherboard works, but why this is on my wall, and there's actually a very good reason for that. Uh, it makes it very easy to talk about in a video like this and it makes you see how things go together and now we don't really see a motherboard we probably know it exists but we don't actually ever see one well most of us don't so if you haven't seen one before this is what one pretty much looks like and I'm going to talk about what all this stuff is well the main parts anyways and we will get back to this on another video so let's get started well we can't do a video without talking about the power supply it goes to our connector right here this is our processor fan our processor is right behind there and yes it is actively running because it's actually doing critical work right now and I can't show it so I can't turn it off so I gotta be careful of not touching it that is our heat sink which I believe is for the graphic chipset above that the great thing the brown thing that you probably can't really see too well it's called an AGP slot, which is for graphics cards, and that's pretty much all I think that I, it does. Above that, these things are PCI slots. Right now, I got a NIC cord, which is actually running right now. And underneath that right there, it says Magic Jack is our Ethernet controller on board. We have, of course, our USB and our PS2, our parallel port and our VGA. We got our RAM modules, RAM slots with a uh, RAM module right there. We got our CMOS battery, which is right there next to the PCI slot. Um, what else can we talk about? We got our IDE connectors right here um, and that's pretty much the main parts of the motherboard oh as an added bonus right here you see this cable right here coming off the power supply this black and yellow one that is our 12 volts going to our processor because our main connector cannot supply enough power to the processor. This is a Pentium 4 by the way if I didn't mention it earlier. Which requires a lot of power and yes it works just fine without collecting much heat on this motherboard. I actually don't have any problems running it 24-7 on this wall. So that's pretty much the motherboard and next week which would be Tuesday we will talk about how to set up a almost free or cheap uh, home media uh, theater uh, that is compared to the Apple TV right now these are my computers monitors that I'll be using that will be my other computer that I'll be using and I got some more in the back but uh, right now we were talking about this motherboard and this is pretty much standard so I guess that's it for this episode and I hope you stay tuned for next week so goodbye YouTube